Welcome back guys to the Renaroos. I'm here with Imran here at Lighting Empire. How are you? Not too bad at all, thank you. Now, the next stage in the house is the big one because you've got to light it up and make it look really good. Now you've got a huge range of lights here. Where are you located? 134 Brisbane Road, just up in Labrador, just opposite the Town. Easy to get to, lots of car parking here, and of course you can see the sign here which is really good. Now some of the lighting, you've got specialised stuff and you've got a large variety of mirrors and you've got fans. Tell us a bit about what you've got here in the store. So we have a, a, a range of everything as you said. We've got the fans, we've got down lights, um, external lights, chandeliers. Uh, this is a bunch of different stuff that, I mean, for whatever you need in this case, um, I believe you were talking about the uh, the downlights that yes. you are after. Uh, and in this case, I've got one here right in front of me, um, which I will show you right now. So basically what we have, this is our uh, most uh, popular range of downlights. And uh, the beauty about this particular downlight, it's a 10 watt LED, as you know nowadays, everything is LED. Uh, it's the most energy saving option uh, available in the market. It's a nice flush white face to it. The most popular thing about these down lights is how you can actually change the color of the light. So you can go from a, a warm light, which is more of a yellow light, to a neutral light, which is a medium sort of a white light, and then you can go to a natural, which is a cool white or a daylight, um, as some people yeah. prefer calling. With these particular type of down lights, the only thing you need uh, on top of the down light is a plug base uh, that just sits up in the ceiling, uh, and you just connect it up. Uh, you get the electrician connect the socket and you just put the down light in and on your way you go. Uh, now it's very popular nowadays with fashion, just the ceiling goes in, down lights are the easiest way to brighten up the house. Absolutely right. There are other ways to do it, yeah. but in this case down lights is probably the most cost, cost effective way of doing it. You can even out the light throughout the room because as you know, if you have a light in the center of the room, there's only so much it can sort of light up the end of the room or the corners of the room. Yeah. With down lights you can obviously position in such a way that the light does sort of even spread through the room. Now also, you've got a large variety of feature lighting hanging down for say the kitchen or over the dining room. What's the most speciality one that, that's going at the moment? The funny thing about these feature lights is basically it's it's up to the customer. It's what the customer needs in this case and what they prefer for the house. I mean, we can recommend a thousand things for the customer, but being a feature light, it's got to obviously blend into the environment, blend into the house itself, yes. what color combination they prefer in this case. A lot of people do prefer putting in the long pendants. Obviously, you can cut them to size, yep. you can have them uh, in different colors, in different color lights, similar to the downlight where you can choose the color of the light. People are rushed because they got the nine to five job and they was they would like someone to think for them. They can come into Lighting Empire, tell you where they've got the house, what sort of atmosphere they're looking for. You can help them with an idea of lighting to go in the house. That's absolutely right. Um, I, in this case, I mean, as I said, we do cater for every scenario, but it all depends on the customer. Yeah. Okay. So if they do prefer something that it's something that specializes, yes. right? We're more than happy to source that product out as well, as long as. I guess the customer tells us what they are. Yes. So. Good stuff. Now, we move outside. We've got outside lights as well. Lots of different varieties. Absolutely. Uh, with the external lights, we have feature lights, and then you've got something that's practical lights, which are like your floodlights or your spotlights. Mm -hmm. So if, when you go with spotlights and, and floodlights, um, it's basically to light up a backyard or security lights with sensors to light up the side of the house, in which you can leave on at the end of the day um, throughout the night. And if someone comes in from the side, the sensors pick that up, and the light always come on. It's just more of a feature of a security. Where when it comes to the feature lights, generally it's more towards the front of the house yeah. uh, where if they want to light up or from a distance you want to create a particular design for the house mm -hmm. uh, using the lights. Yeah. Generally during the daytime you'll hardly even see those feature lights up and down option mm -hmm. where it creates a, a nice sort of light feature on the on the front of the house. Yeah. It could be the, the, the pillars of the house, it could be the side of the garage. Uh, generally fence lighting as well is quite okay. popular for that. Uh, for, yeah. Or that, that type of external lights and then what we have is coach lights your lantern looking type lights so right. very old-fashioned yeah, yeah. that's coming back into fashion wow. nowadays so you'll find that uh, uh, those coach lights are quite starting to get popular you can get them in different varieties mm -hmm. and as I said if the customer does want something like that being a feature yeah. it's something that they got to choose but we do cater from anything basic all the way to something that's a bit more feature, right. so. there's so much lighting involved when you actually look at it like it's not just coming in just to get a light 
bulb and put it in the house. Now you've got the landscape, we've got landscape going in as well, so you've got actual lights for the landscape to, to brighten up some of the feature like the plants or the waterfall and all that sort of stuff, all here at Lighting Empire. That's correct. Obviously your garden stuff is all 12 volt. Yes. Uh, you need a transformer to run them off with. There's different varieties available in the market in the sense of um, you can get them quite simple with a simple spike, colored options. You can even get the bright built-in LED options as well with those. Yes. Uh, but that's pretty standard through the board. You can okay. even get the bollards for driveways. A huge range of ceiling fans. If you're looking at AC or DC ceiling fans, we have both the options available. Different sizes obviously, different colored options with ceiling fans. If you are looking for particular style chandelier I would highly recommend you go to 34 Kingston Road Underwood we have another branch there and we have a chandelier showroom specifically set up just for chandeliers we have over 350 designs if they want to sit back relax and look on their computer where do they go www.lightingempire.com.au it's great talking to you Fantastic. all of our lights are going in from Lighting Empire to brighten up the house guys we'll see you soon Renaroos Lighting Empire bye for now